and today we are talking about compositing. So you know, a lot of people are scared of compositing because they think it's complicated and it's not for them. I only animate, I do nothing else. Well, you know, sometimes learning a bit of compositing will not harm anyone. So today I'm gonna teach you a very easy trick to do some cool lining effect around your character. All right, so as some of you might know, I do a lot of work for the game groups and when I do these collabs, I like to do something that is cool and quick to get a certain style or whatever. So in my animation, I decided to give them this little line work. And I thought that since I got the questions a lot and it's super easy, so I thought I'd just share. So the way I do it is really simple. It's with matte resizes and matte blur, you know, one of the notes I use most of the time. With the matte resize, you're gonna expand the silhouette of your character and with the matte blur, you change the color. So let's just build it up from nothing and start from scratch. All right, so I have my damn animation here and I have a composite because since we're gonna have a lot of nodes I don't want it to be all connected to the main composite and be annoying so you know I always give my composite here to make my compositing sandwich and then as I said you're gonna need a matte resize and a matte blur and under that composite I'll use a display just to isolate what I want all right, so now I have Dan, I have my effects, let's get to it. So to see your matte resize result, don't forget to go into the render view, because if you're in OpenGL, you're not gonna see it. So always go to render to see your effects. In my matte resize, I will put five, and you're gonna see my silhouette is gonna go five units away. And you see here, I have some very weird results. This is because I'm using a lot of textures in my line, and what the matte resize is actually doing is just expanding the color of the exact pixel it's at. So that's why it always looks weird, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, we're gonna recolor it with a matte blur. And the reason it's so weird is because it's using my line art with lots of textures. And just so you know, if you use your color art instead, you wouldn't have that usually. Because color art is very vector and it's very color perfect, so the edges are okay. By the way, this is also a style that I use a lot. The look it gives is really great. It's like a overspilling um, color art. I like that, but that's not what I wanted to use for this video. So we're gonna go back to the old one. And what we're gonna do instead is take our matte blur and connect it here. And you see, it made a color silhouette around my character. So then if you go into your matte blur, you can just change the color to anything that you want. It's as easy as that. So what I usually do is I have a matte resize that is set to maybe like two. I set this one to white. And then since I'm lazy, I take this, I copy and paste it, put it here. Uh, this is gonna be white as well. And then I take another one, and I'm gonna make this one, you know, any color that I want. In this case, I usually use a light blue. So I'm gonna set this one to light blue. You can always change it after. And then on the matte resize here, I'm gonna make it a bit larger. And then this one that is also white, I'm gonna set it even larger. So then I just have multiple times my silhouettes being shown under my character. If I remove my character, then I get just the silhouettes on top of each other, which is also great. And this is actually the trick that I've shown before to do a candle, but I thought I'd show it to do a character. So um, that is one thing you can do with it. <laughs> and as I said, you can also use it with your color art instead, which gives very cool results. And one thing that I want to show as well is that if you have a line art that has lots of texture, uh, mine is not so bad because the texture is kind of mellow, but sometimes if you have a very crazy style, sometimes it's gonna get very ragged edges to your uh, silhouettes. So that's why sometimes, depending on the texture that I'm using, I like to use the color art filter on top of all my matte resize, just because it makes it look a lot smoother, right? So this is with the color art, and this is if I deactivate it, it's getting really rugged. So yeah, that can be very useful. So I hope that you enjoyed and that you can use this in any of your project, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.